Hadith 35 Special Statement which gets 2 million blessings for its reciter. An Abdullahi ibn Abi Alfa Qalaqala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallama Man qala la ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lahu ahadun Samadalam Yalid Walan Yulad Walam Yakulahu Kwan Ahadun Kataba Laha Lahu Alpha Alfi Hasana. So this is narrated by Tabrani, and it would be so sort of like saying Surah 112. Abdullah ibn Abi Alpha relates that whoever relates from the messenger of God to find contact upon him in wholeness, that whoever says there's no God except God, unique, without partner, for he's one, the self-sufficient, Without child, uh, uh, without parent, without child, and without being like anyone in anything, and the book of God for him a thousand. Thousands virtues. Note how great is the kindness and favor of Almighty God that He gives thousands and millions of virtues for the mere recitation of this kalama, which action does not need hard labor or much time, but unfortunately, we are careless and remain so much occupied in our worldly activities that we never care to take advantage of these rewards. Almighty God grants at least ten times reward for every virtue, provided it is done with a cloth, you know, the sincerity. And then this reward multiplies further according to the degree of sincerity. The Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has said, when a person embraces Islam, all his previous sins were forgiven, and that every virtue is rewarded ten to seven hundred times, and that even more than that. As Almighty Allah may please, but a sin is recorded as a single deed, and if it is forgiven by Allah, it is not even mentioned in the account of deeds. According to another hadith, a virtue is noted in the account of a person as soon as he intends to do it, but when it is actually done, its reward is increased from ten to seven hundred times, and even more as Allah may please. There are many a hadith to this effect that Allah's bounty knows no limit, provided a person tries to deserve it. The pious people keep this thing in view, and so that they are not misled by any amount of worldly wealth. Allahumma jalni minhum. O oh God, make me as one of them. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had said, There are six kinds of deeds and four categories of people. Of the deeds, the first two kinds lead definite results. Two carry equivalent reports, while the reward is ten times for the fifth, and seven hundred times for the remaining one. Of the first two kinds of deeds, one is certain to lead to Jannah, a person who is free from shirk at the time of his death, and the other is certain to lead into Jahannam, a person who is committed to shirk at the time of his death. Of the two kinds of deeds which bring equivalent rewards, one is to make a firm intention for a virtuous deed before its actual performance, and the other is to commit a sin which is also recorded as one only. The fifth is to do a noble deed, the reward for which is ten times, while the sixth is to spend wealth in the path of Allah, which is in which case the reward is enhanced seven hundred times. Of the four categories of people, the first is of those who enjoy prosperity in the world but will face suffering in the Akra. The second is of those who face hardship in this world but will enjoy prosperity in the Akra. The people 
in the third category face hardship in both worlds, i.e. they are poor in this life and will be punished in the Akbara, and the fourth category will include those who are well off in both the worlds. A person came to Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu and asked him if he had narrated that Almighty Allah multiplies the reward of some virtues one million times. He swore in confirmation of that he heard exactly like that. According to another variation, he had heard from Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the reward of some virtues is two million times. Allah Almighty says in the Quran, You die you Surah 4, 840, that he multiplies virtues and grants from his treasure great rewards. Who can imagine the extent of the rewards which has been described as great by Almighty God? According to Imam al Ghazali, the reward will be possible only if we recite these words with full concentration on their meanings because it is important. Because important attributes of Almighty Allah are described therein. And so we see here the... Oh. The account. Yeah, the account. So this kind of... That... that, that Narration kind of implies the reward of Surah 112. Because if this phrase like 112 and the Quran is supposed to be the best of remembrance.